Do I look like Princess Leia? You stuck up, half-witted, scruffy-looking nerf herder! Alright, so everyone asks me always, what do you shoot? What's the best caliber for big game hunting? It's an ongoing argument in the hunting industry. What is the very best caliber? In my opinion, the very best caliber and the very best gun is what you like and what you're used to. You gotta decide what you wanna do. What do you wanna do with your rifle? You wanna go out target shooting? Do you wanna go shoot prairie dogs? Do you wanna be a big game hunter and shoot elk at a long range? Do you wanna shoot elk at a short range? You just have to decide. So this bad boy here, it's a Remington uh, Model 700 Sendero. It's a B on me. The caliber is a 300 Remington Ultra Mag, also known as the 300 Rum. This is a gun that I've had for five or six years and I've done quite a bit of work to it. You can't see it because it's inside this stock, but it's a, called a mercury tube. It's actually a tube full of mercury that a gunsmith will go in and uh, embed in the stock. And what that does is it takes a lot of the recoil from the gun away because when the gun's coming back, the, re the mercury in the tube is actually going forward, which slows the gun down. We put a uh, Packmeyer butt pad on it which is a lot softer than the uh, stock one that comes with. Well, I'm kind of a wussy, and the 300 Ultra Mag does have a pretty good kick to it, especially when you're shooting a 180 grain bullet. So I went ahead and had um, a gunsmith here in town install this brake. What a muzzle brake is, is it takes the pressure that normally is pushing back down the barrel when that bullet's coming out, and it pushes that pressure out the sides of the end of the barrel. So instead of having the kick like this, it comes out. The only downfall to one of these is it makes it really obnoxiously loud. When you're shooting it, you don't notice as much, but if you're standing by somebody shooting one with a muzzle brake on, you want to have earplugs on, definitely, or else your eardrums might just blow up. With the mercury tube, the pad, and the muzzle brake, I'd say we took, cut down at least 40, maybe a little more, 45% of the recoil. So the gun's actually fun and it's enjoyable to shoot now. So the scope I decided to put on here was a Leopold Very X3. Um, the magnification on it is 6.5 to 20. If you're shooting long ranges, you can really turn it up and see exactly what you're shooting at. It's nice. It's got the MOA turrets on it, which means if you guys aren't familiar with MOA, it means minute of angle. It's the best way, in my opinion, to calculate your holdover. So if you're shooting at 100 yards, you're going to be zeroed at 100. But if you want to shoot at 350 or 450, there's a chart that will tell you what MOA, what minute of angle you need to turn the gun up. So you're not actually holding the gun, you're not holding your crosshairs above your target, you turn your scope to adjust it and you hold dead on. It's the same system the military has always used, they still use it, a lot of long range sh shooters use it, and in my opinion it's, it's the easiest and uh, most diverse way to shoot at long ranges basically. Ammo is a big thing when it comes to shooting, especially when you're trying to shoot longer ranges. Most people decide to hand load, especially when they're shooting long ranges. And the benefit of hand loading is you can adjust your load exactly to how your gun shoots. Not every 300 Ultra Mag shoots the same. Every gun shoots different. Every gun is put together a little bit different in the factory. So with hand loading, you can adjust your loads to match your specific gun. Well, I've hand loaded for this gun for two or three years. My dad is big into hand loading. He's hand loaded for this gun. And we cannot find a bullet, or we haven't found a bullet, or a load recipe that will match the factory ammo that Remington is putting out. It's just a Remington um, Swiss Sirocco bonded bullet and you can just buy these in the store and it's crazy because it usually doesn't happen but factory ammo never shoots as good as hand loads. Well, this is not the case with this gun and uh, this ammunition. This stuff shoots amazing right out of the box. So, Alright, so that's just kind of an overview of my guns, what I like to do. This is, like I said, my go-to gun. I actually haven't shot it this year yet, so I'm going to shoot it real quick, see if it's still on, and then I'm going to start shooting it probably twice a week until my hunts start coming up here in October. That's the first time I've shot this year, so it, it might be a little bit off, but that's why we're shooting now and not wait until the week before the hunt. So. First three shots of the year, a little right of center, but I'm not too concerned about that. As long as they're grouping, you can shoot three shots and they're very close to each other, I'm happy with that. I can move my scope to the left a half inch and we'll be right on. We want to be able to do this at three and 400 yards, so we'll keep shooting, keep practicing. 
until next time. She's used my fist for that long. So I've had a lot of people ask me different questions about myself, and I am a Leo.